This is Hanging Heavy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the first episode of 2024. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator. And today, your boy is running solo. And that's alright. Because it's uh, the first of the fucking year. The first podcast. <clears throat> so, I don't really have much gathered for, I guess, me to speak about. So... I guess before we get any further, we have a tradition around here, or at the top of every show, we take a shot, chug a beer, take a big old drink of our drink, whatever we got near, and I'm ready in three, two, one. I want to give a quick shout out to an avid listener and close friend, Red Dragon. Shout out to you. One of the one of the few survivors still listening to this damn show. Surprise, motherfucker! Well, that's enough of that. That's not that funny. <clears throat> but yeah, let me go ahead and we used to do it pretty frequent, uh, where we would read the statistics of how the show's doing, and the show's doing better. So. Uh, uh, slowly but surely, we're getting more and more listens. So, so fucking shout out to you guys that listen one time. But yeah, let's take a little demographic of where this, where the listens are coming from. We're not too far into this year, so we'll do for the month of December sixty downloads. Uh, no new followers, no new comments, no likes, so fucking get on that shit. Uh But yeah, let's go top, top five, one, two, three, four, five. Top five, uh, we got the U.S., obviously, we're a U.S.-based show, but shout out to New Mexico, Texas, obviously, that's where your boy's from. We got some people out in Virginia and some people out in Pennsylvania. So, fucking shout out to you guys. <clears throat> we got some people out in South Wales. Oh, shit, back to uh, the top five. So, top five, U.S., Germany, U.K., Spain, and Australia. Shout out again to the people down in there. Muchas gracias for to everyone in Spain, in España. Muchas gracias todos. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to UK. I don't know what you guys speak over there, but we speak English around here. And, uh, for my people out in Deutschland, shout out to you guys. <coughs> We're talking about the Hessen region it's very specifically. So if that's you, fucking go to YouTube, go to Spotify, go to fucking Podbean, give us a like. Shout out where you're from. I look at all of this shit. <clears throat> but yeah, we're doing pretty decent. Uh, we're up. <laughs> Whatever that means. But let's go ahead and look at the last year in review. 2022. From January 2022 to... What the fuck? 23. From January... Uh, from January to December 2023, where obviously some months are better, but everyone's got shit to do, and I guess we're doing hot in the hot times. Where that's where we get most of our listens up in the summertime, a little bit of that springtime, and uh, yeah, that's what it is. So fucking shout out to you guys for listening. Uh, I know we don't ask for money, we don't ask for anything, but a little, a little bit of metrics, just to see where people are from, and get a little fucking taste of where our peoples is, 
And by peoples, I mean you guys that keep coming back, the repeat offenders, I like to say. And uh, that's that. But I guess we'll take a quick little commercial break because your boy's got to make some fudge, if you know what I mean. And with that, I'll be right back. Rich and rare. Yeah, there it is, the gay bomb. Look it up for yourself. I mean, this is what they're... What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. And I'm not saying people didn't naturally have homosexual feelings. I'm not even getting into it, quite frankly. I mean, give me a break. You think I am, like, oh, shocked by it, so I'm up here bashing it because I don't like gay people? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. I'm sick of being social engineered. It's not funny. Are your frogs turning gayer and gayer by the day? Have you noticed your green buddy slowly transition into a pride flag? Well, now you have the chance to combat this with the new frog treatment tablet. Now you see, frogs is an acronym, and what that stands for is full removal of gay. Frog. Now you see, the way this works is you put a tablet in the water, and it removes all the gay side effects and chemicals that the government keeps putting in there to turn you and your frogs gay. Don't sit around while they mingle with their dangle. Remember, all you gotta do is drop one of these tablets directly into hot water, and you'll remove all them substances that the government is hiding. Hiding in plain sight. I don't like it. All you gotta do now is order quickly for a low, low price of $59.99. Shipping not included. All sales are final. Remember, frog treatment tablets. Remember, you can go from gay to yay with frog treatment tablets. Shout out one time to frog treatment tablets. You don't want you don't want what's in the water to get into the frogs. <clears throat> but yeah, as I said earlier, I don't really have anything planned per se, but I guess uh, we'll take the time to do some dumb tests just to see what the fuck. Uh, this, these, this next set of quizzes are going to be from queendom.com. And... Uh, I guess it's a site for men and women. So says Google, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, so the first one. Let me just adjust my mic. Uh, okay, so the first one is 10 questions. It's called the lazy test. And there's a picture. In this picture, there's a fuck ton of cars in a parking lot, I guess. It says, your friend needs to get his or her car from out from behind yours. Do you give him or her the keys to move your car so that you can avoid getting up? Yes. No, because I hate it when people drive my car. Number two, you take the last drop of water out of the water cooler. There's a full bottle sitting right next to it. Do you replace it? Yes, because I'm not a fucking heathen. Your bank's ATM machine is a mile away from your house, but there's an even closer one that charges a, server f a service fee. Do you go to the closer ATM in spite of the extra charge? Yes. <clears throat> You're all out of toothpaste. What do you do? Squeeze the life out of the last tube for one pinch of paste? Run to the store and get some more? Choose some gum. Squeeze the life out of it, baby. <laughs> You're napping on the couch when your friend calls you to remind you that he or she needs help moving. What do you do? Tell her, him or her that you'll be right over. Tell him and her that it'll be over 20 minutes, but that I can only stay for an hour. Tell him or her something suddenly came up and go back to sleep. No, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Uh, let me uh, give you a quick little insight. Uh, your boy drives nothing but trucks. All right? So what does that mean? Uh, pretty much no one else I know drives a truck. <clears throat> so that means whenever they need something moved, they call your boy. Dip, 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 dip. Well, that's all right. I don't mind. That's why I have a truck. 
Okay, you have been given the chance to drink an experimental water that has been shown to dramatically slow the aging process. The catch is you would have to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning for the next two months in order to drink it. Yes, it doesn't say you can't go back to sleep. Do you separate your white clothes from your colored ones? No, because I do not see color. Do you wait for elevators even though the, square, uh, the stairs are quicker? Yes, because your boy's fat as fuck. Do you prefer to go to full-service gas stations? I'm going to put no just because your boy's from Texas. Uh, we fill our own gas down here. We don't have it good like you Yankees up north. <laughs> are there any empty shampoo bottles in your shower? No, because I hate seeing them fucking collect. Okay, so that's weird. My score is 35. What does my score mean? You haven't got a lazy bone in your body. Based on the answers you cho you chose on this test, it's safe to assume that you've got enough get up and go to tackle most of life's annoying duties, both big and small. Even when you're feeling tired or lazy, you still make an effort to get things done. You clearly possess a strong worth ethic. <laughs> Or maybe you just get annoyed when things are not taken care of. Bingo. <clears throat> Either way, your effort likely makes your life run much more smoothly. Let's try to run. Whatever. Fuck off. Okay, so there was that one. Uh, lazy test. Where is this one? Is it this one? Okay, so the next one is the fear test. Let's read the little shit. Everyone has fears that they would like to conquer. Do you tremble at the thought of watching a horror movie, visiting a haunted house? No, fuck off. <clears throat> Ten questions. There's a horrible plane crash the day before your flight on the same airline. Do you still fly? Yes, because shit ain't cheap. But your boy has to pay for two seats. <laughs> would you agree to an experimental treatment to correct an irregular heartbeat if one of the likely side effects was severe facial acne, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> the fear of commitment ever has the fear of ever commitment ever caused you to break up with someone you love? No, thank you. Uh, you hear something in the middle of the night that wakes you up. You think it's your dog downstairs, but then you realize you don't have a dog. What do you do? Okay, so let's grab the closest makeshift weapon makeshift weapon, and check it out. Blow it off and go back to bed. Hide under the sheets uh, with the phone and call 911. Well, again, your boy is from Texas. So what that means is your boy's got a bedside table gun. Dip, 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 dip. <clears throat> so there's always a pistol near. And, uh, uh, check it out. <laughs> it's a rainy night and your car breaks down in the middle of the woods. You see a cabin with the lights on a mile above up the road. What do you do? Turn on the hazards and walk up to the cabin and get help. Stay in the car and hope somebody drives by. Lock the doors and cower in the back of the car. Well, first off, we have technology dip, 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 dip. so we would call triple a or whatever the fuck but I, I would also turn on the hazards and go see if i could get some help <clears throat> remember i've got a gun i'm from texas surprise motherfucker You've just met someone at a bar and end up going to his or her place. In the heat of passion, you pull off his or her shirt and notice a tattoo of a giant snake that covers his or her entire back. What do you do? Get on with the business at hand. Ask a few questions before jumping in the sack. Put my clothes on and get the heck out of there. Well, first, let's finish what we're doing. Ask her action first, questions later. Duh. You're on the way home from work when you hear over the radio that there's been a murder on your black and the suspect is still at large. What do you do? Waste some time before going home, finally putting that gym membership to use. Go home and lock all my doors or stay over at a friend's house. 
Well, coincidentally enough, this actually happened not too long ago. Uh, I, I want to say not even three blocks from where I live. Some kid was gunned down in his house by two idiots. And uh, they were they were at large for a little while. Uh, so your boy uh, actually has had this. So I would go home and lock all my doors. Remember, your boy got that firepower, so uh, I ain't worried. <laughs> Number eight. Would you ever have sex in a cemetery? Why, well, hell yeah. Freaky deaky, baby. Freak a leak. Uh, let them zombies finger my ass. I don't care. <laughs> Shout out to anyone that knows where that's from. <clears throat> Poultry geist. Learn about it. <laughs> Would you be able to spend one night in a house that is reputed to be haunted? Mm-hmm. Call me a bitch, but your boy ain't going nowhere. Are you willing to try anything once? Yes or no? Yes. Let's see my score. My score is 25. What it means is you've got nerves of steel. Nothing seems to freak you out. In fact, you barely blink an eye at the things that would scare the pants off of most people. And are unlikely to be hindered by phobias. <laughs> if you were a character in a horror movie, you'd be the the person who calmly walks into a haunted house and just chills on the couch. I said I wouldn't go into haunted houses. In spite of slamming the doors and demonic voice, that's the reason why I wouldn't go in. You may get the occasional case of the heebie-jeebies. But you were probably laughed off most attempts to scare you. You simply refuse to give in to the irrational panic that easily consumes people when they faced, when they are faced with the unknown. Just be sure that your lack of fear doesn't get you into risky, risky situations. Sometimes fear is our mind's way of stopping it, stopping us from doing stupid things, and that's the exact reason why I always trust my gut. And if you don't know me, my gut is huge. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. We got one other test. Give me a second while I pull it up. Uh, why do they make things so easy and so difficult to work? Okay. This next test, the paranoid test. <clears throat> You're out with some friends. You're the first to leave because you need to wake up early. Do you assume that your friends will be bound mouthing you? No. And even if they are, fuck them. Have you ever thought you had an STD when you didn't? Negative, because your boy's clean. You started dating someone who fulfills all of your criteria for being the one. Do you assume that it's only a matter of time before you discover something about this person? Yes. <laughs> You've had a one night stand the next morning, which, which thought crosses your man. That was a great night. I feel a little dirty. I am diseased and I am going to die. I feel a little dirty. Your partner tells you that he or she is working late. Before going to bed, you decide to call him or her and say good night, but she doesn't answer. Which thought crosses your mind? That's odd. I hope everything's okay. He is, he or she is probably having an affair. Poor thing. He or she is probably working really hard. Well, obviously, poor thing, because fuck going to work on your day off. <laughs> Have you ever driven around the block before parking at home and make sure no one has followed you? No. Do you assume that you were in trouble when you were called into the principal's office? Yes or no? No, because I never did anything dumb in school. Do you believe the government has a file on you? Why, of course. I don't believe. I know. Do you believe you are days away from getting fired? Well, if your boy had a job, that would be true. <laughs> are you worried that the answers you gave on this test will be used against you someday? No, because I'm not a bitch. My score is 25. Let me go ahead and read. Congratulations. Your responses indicate you don't have many flashes of paranoia, which can only be a good thing. Whatever. Okay, that one sucked. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so well, let's do this last one. And the last one is the anger test. I have a feeling I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to fucking right off the charts. If you could break the legs of someone you despise without getting caught, would you do it? Of course. <laughs> Despite your repeated appeals, your navel keeps you up at night with loud music. If you could get away with it, would you cause damage to his or her property? Of course. You're having sex with a new partner, but she or he isn't doing a very good job of satisfying you. Would you get impatient? Yes. Would you get impatient and show him or her exactly how do you please? Yeah, well, that's how you get shit done, bro. Your child is being harassed by a bully at school. What do you do? Ask for a meeting with the principal and the bully's parents. Call the bully's parents and leave a nasty message. Handle things by myself by physically threatening the bully. Well, you have to be a fucking bureaucrat now, so obviously fucking set up a meeting. <clears throat> as dumb as that sounds. You're out having drinks with colleagues after work. Across the bar, you see your fiancé making out with someone. What do you do? Leave the bar and discuss the future of our relationship when he or she gets home. Walk over and tell my fiancé off in front of everyone. Uh, oops. Uh, hold on. Uh, leave the bar, head to my partner's car, and introduce it to my baseball bat. No, no I'm going to go with the first one because your boy ain't trying to go to jail. When someone betrays you or lies to you, do you go out of your way to make sure he or she lives to regret it? No. Because I'm not a spiteful... Well, I mean, uh, whatever. I say no at the moment, but it'll probably be yes. Uh, do you prefer getting even rather than getting just mad? Uh, no. Would you turn around and yell shut up at someone talking in a movie theater? Yes, I've done it before. Have you ever brought up a suck-up gift to make up someone? Yes. For making up for one of your out angry... Outrageous... Is there anything better than angry sex? No. Anger, 60. What does this mean? If rage and tranquility were countries, you'd be living on the border. Based on your responses, we can deduce that you have had the occasional flare of temper, but are generally able to keep a lid on it. Perhaps there are certain situations that really get on your nerves and bring out your anger side. Or maybe there are just days where you wake up on the wrong side of the bed and have very little patience for annoyances. Yes. Some days you just feel like you want to break stuff. Uh, shout out one time if you know what that means. God damn it, Bobby. <clears throat> you don't want people feeling your wrath. Do you? It's normal and healthy, whatever. Okay, well, I mean, that was that. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I kind of figured some of those would go the way they did, so ain't nothing wrong with a little bumping grind. Well, I don't know, Dave. With that being said, let's go ahead and hear another word from one of our beautiful sponsors. Do you ever wake up in the morning feeling like you just don't have enough get up and go? With the new product coming in from our glorious new sponsor, you can take that flooded, stalled ass engine you call a heart. And you can turn it into something strong, something powerful, something with some get up and go. I'm talking about nothing other than it's not for pussies and it's going to make you a man. I'm talking about the alpha man, the man that comes and takes your bitch and fucks your girl. And if your girl's a guy, he'll fuck him too. Because Monty now. Got proprietary blends of Monte ingredients made in the Monte by the Monte people for the Monte people. I'm talking about Monte. It'll get you up, it'll get you perked, and it'll get you stepping. There's nothing better than a hot glass of Monte to get your juices flowing. And if you don't understand what that means, ever wonder what made Maverick so special in Top Gun? Well, that's because he was our very first test subject, and now he's going... Monty Monty Monty. Monty.
shout out to Monte Milk. That shit gets me going. <clears throat> and it tastes pretty dang good. Yee yee. But uh yeah, so the little update I guess is we're gonna try to get the boys together so that it's not just your boy DSE. Not that you guys have a problem with that, I hope not. But uh yeah, hopefully we can uh, get the boys back in and maybe even get some old voices back up on the show. Maybe if uh, Red Dragon ever wants to join again, he's more than welcome. But we always got Banano or Mel Bolja. Maybe even some random pop-in by your boy, the White Carlton. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm I'm pretty decent right now. Uh, and updates with your boy... Uh, I'm, I guess, going to take my music production a little more extensive, going a little further this time. Uh, I just got a a drum pad. Uh, so your boy's going to start making his own damn beat. Drum patterns, what have you. Whatever your boy can figure out. Uh, I've never done it. Uh, so that'll be kind of interesting to learn. And... Uh, Hopefully something something that everyone can use is learn a learn a new thing this year. Learn something that you've never done before. To step out of your comfort zone. Uh it's always good to push yourself and what's the point of life if you don't have challenges? Uh if you're struggling right now, don't worry, it gets better. And if it doesn't, just make sure you have good people around you. They make hard times way easier. And if uh, it helps you, you can always check out Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator. As always, much love and rich and rare.